Hello gin lovers, welcome back to my channel, I'm Bobby Freeman, where today we're going to be cooking up one of the most beautiful, yet one of the most simple cocktails, quite literally, on the planet, which is of course the Negroni. So as I say, this really is one of the simplest cocktails out there. I mean, literally anybody can make this. Anyone, can, a child can make it. I mean, don't, don't, don't get a child to make it, clearly that's, that's irresponsible. I certainly don't condone it on this channel. However, if you are a little bit intimidated by more, some of the more fiddly cocktails, don't worry, I promise you, you'll be able to do this one and you'll be able to do it very, very well. So strap yourselves in, my friends, because we're bloody well gonna make it now and there's nothing you can do to stop me. So first of all, we will need some ice. So. Excellent. Now in terms of gin, basically just put your favourite gin in there. It doesn't matter what gin you put in, it will still be a Negroni. So today I've gone for this old friend, which is of course Plymouth gin. Not least because it gives me a nice opportunity to do my lovely Plymouth accent. And if you want to do a Plymouth accent at home, very, very easy. All you've got to do, talk a little bit like Sam from Lord of the Rings, and end every sentence with the word bastard. So all we do next is we take the top off him like that, stick that down there, then we're gonna pour out about 30 milliliters, which goes in there like that, or one ounce if you're in America, stick him in there like that, stick him on there, put him down there, you bastard. Okay, we'll abandon the Plymouth accent for now because I will lose my voice by the end of the video. So next thing up is of course the good old Campari. And again, the beauty of this cocktail is I said it was really simple. All the measurements are exactly the same. So again, we're gonna do 30 milliliters or one ounce. So we're sticking in there. We've got the lovely glug glug sound. Beautiful, in you go. And it gives that beautiful, beautiful Negroni color. Excellent, excellent. This is shaping up to be a very exciting Negroni. And last but by no means least, of course, is the sweet vermouth. And again, it's gonna be 30 milliliters or one ounce, depending on where you are. So it's a good glug sound. Oh, beautiful. And in she goes. Oh dear, I spilt a bit. Well, it's not too bad, so I did spill a bit there. However, a little bit dribbled out the bottle into the glass as well. So I think it kind of offs one offset the other. So uh, we are good to go. So now comes the stirring. So we're gonna stir this fellow around for around about 20 seconds. So. Right, that's stirred, so next up we need a glass with some ice. Beautiful, and we now need to pour it into the glass. Obviously, stick the old spoon over there, see what it tastes like. Oh, freebie. Oh my God, that's absolutely delicious. Right then, whack the old sieve thing on there. That is a technical term, of course. Some people get a bit funny about what sort of sieve you use, but I, I'll tell you now, I don't care what sieve you use. You can, you can strain it through a sieve, a strainer, a colander. You could put it through a pair of dirty old underpants for all I care, as long as it's going into the glass. So, get him in there. Oh my god, this looks awesome! Oh yes, now of course we just need to introduce the garnish. And again, very, very simple. You just grab yourself a bit of orange peel. Some people like to cut it into like a, sort of a cool looking point, but I kind of like it kind of rough like this. And you just sort of put it into a twist like that, rub it round the edge first, obviously. Some, again, some people rub it round right round the sides of the glass, but I find that gets a little bit sticky. So I just stick it round the edge like that. Obviously give it a bit of a squeeze, so get those lovely orange oils spraying onto the top of the drink. And then we just pop him in, just sort of balance him on the edge like that. And he'll start to sort of sink a little bit, but just rest nonchalantly on the top. And there you have, my friends, the most gorgeous looking Negroni. Take a look at that beauty. Cheers. <laughs> oh! It's, oh, there's so much going on in the Negroni. It's like, it's several things bumping up against each other. You've got the lovely sort of uh, just ice coldness, obviously because we did it in all the ice and it's serving in ice, um, but it sort of bumps up against the kind of the warmth that the cocktail brings as well. And that you've also got like the sweetness from the vermouth sort of cascading into the, uh, the sort of the bitterness of the Campari, which is not for everyone. Not everyone likes the Campari, but it, it, once, you, once you develop a taste for it, it really gets under your skin. And just, I mean, just look at it. It is a thing of beauty, a thing of beauty. I, I sort of defy anyone not to see that on the side of a bar and just think, hmm, hello there. I fancy a bit of a dabble on that. So if you fancy a dabble on that, I suggest you, uh, uh, well, just, just do what I just did and make yourself a Negroni and then quite simply drink it, my friends. Cheers. Mm. 
So guys, if you've enjoyed this, please don't forget to subscribe and press the like button and press the little bell icon so you get notified when all my new videos come out. And of course, check out my Patreon page where you can find all sorts of exclusive material and behind the scenes videos. It really is incredibly exciting. But until then, guys, I will see you all next time. Rice will be Bobby Freeman. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.